And when you tear it open, you can watch the cheese ooze out. Oh, my mouth is watering already. My name is Curly, and this is my abuelita Gladys. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahora? Pupusitas. And we're going to make pupusas from El Salvador for today. For lunch, for lunch. <laughs> we're forever. Pupusas are like small little tortillas made of masa. They're like to-go food. Like you literally, you can pick it up and run with it. You can eat it anywhere. If you're in your car, if you're at work, if you're in church, if you're hanging out at your friend's house, if you're on the couch, if you're in a dining area. We do eat it with a condiment called cortido. The cortido for me is so important because it just adds a whole nother flavor. Like, like the way that I would describe it, and I might get some slack for it, it's kind of similar to like a sauerkraut. Like it just adds that little kick. My memories of pupusas have always been with my abuelita. When we have parties or gatherings with Salvadoran folk, there's usually somebody who is pupuseando, somebody who's like making pupusas for the whole family. Cuando yo cocino siempre me acuerdo de mi mamá, porque mi mamá hacía poquitas pupusas y unas tortillas para la gente de donde, de alrededor que vivía, y de ahí no estaba de comer. Del dinerito que ganaba ella, iba a comprar comida para darnos de comer. My favorite part about my abuelita Gladys making the pupusas is the fact that people place their orders with her and she always forgets what you order. She's like, yes, yes, anything you need. And then just serves you whatever she's making. Yes, look at that. That looks delicious, huh? Muy rico, muy bien. Pupusas are shared by so many cultures. Sometimes there's a little bit of a squabble over who did it, whether Hondurans did it or Salvadorans did it. But like, at the end of the day, we're all the same people anyways. So I'm like, just eat a pupusa and enjoy. So ahora vamos a hacer las pupusas. Oh yeah. My grandma is actually one of my best friends in the whole wide world. Like I, I always get emotional when I talk about it, but like as a young gay kid, she was always there for me. And so when we spend time together, I sometimes understand that it might be limited. And so being able to cook together and learn traditions that she learned from her mother, and then for me to be able to carry them on, it kind of, they're things that'll stay with me for forever. So for me, it means a lot to be able to cook with my grandma. You always make me cry. I always cry when I'm with you. Pupusas can actually be filled with a lot of different things. You can put cheese in it, verdad? Queso, le puedes poner chicharrón, frijoles, lo roco, lo que tú quieras. Depende lo que la gente dice. Exactly. Depending on what the people like, whatever you're wanting. Some people make it differently. I want to try yours. If you make your soggy, I want to try yours. If you make yours crispy, I want to do yours. Like, that's the beauty. Even if you make an ugly pupusa, it doesn't matter. They all taste delicious. I've never met a pupusa I didn't like. Bueno, ahorita se mira como ya vamos a terminar aquí, que ya terminamos de cocinar. Estoy bien emocionado a probarlos. I'm excited. Are you excited to eat them? Oh, yeah, I'm hungry. I'm so excited. We're going to have pupusas for days now. Muy sabroso. Salud bien, ¿verdad? Mmm. 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 Está muy bien. No me está mal. Está rico. Gracias por enseñarme cómo hacerlo. Muy sabroso. Oh, yes. Hey, guys, we're Fabulous. Hispanic Heritage Month? No me digas! For more Latino content, subscribe here!